Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing my 2023 reading journal spread flip through. So we start off with the first page with 2023 and on to my Goodreads reading challenge which was 20 my 2023 reading goals, and my booktube channel goals. Next up is January. Here I have my monthly reads, which was Not Here to Be Liked and Meet Me There. This book I wasn't the biggest fan of, but this book I did enjoy. And here are my stats overall, 658 total pages. Next up is February. I read What Kind of Girl and A Really Bad Idea. So I thought this book was an insensitive, flawed story, but A Really Bad Idea, I loved it, and I do think it is a contender for best book of 2023. And here are my stats. Overall, it was 711 total pages. Next up is March. I ended up reading way more than the previous two months with five books. I ended up reading a series called Chicago Law. So I first read book two, Tempted by My Ex-Husband, and I thought it was the best of the series. Then book one, Smitten with the Best Man, which I thought he was the sweetest guy, but it was quite boring. And then the third one, Seduced by My Ex's Divorce Attorney. My opinion? Ew. Why is he so old? Next was Eve of Man, which was my first Battle of the Sexes pick. I thought it started strong, but it did miss potential. And then I read another Piper Rain book, False Start. I thought it was adequate, but nothing to write home about. And like I said, way more pages than usual, so I ended up reading 1,423 total pages. Next up is April. I ended up reading four books. The first was Why Are You Like This? I thought it was a cute graphic novel and fairly enjoyable. Next up was Forget Me Twice. I thought it was a promising concept, and I enjoyed it in the beginning, but it did fall short. Next up, I read Disturbing His Peace, and it wasn't quite what I expected. It was, quite frankly, meh. And then, <laughs> I have Marriage for One, the longest romance book I've ever read. Why are you wasting our time? Like, I was not a fan of that one at all. And with this beast of a book, I ended up reading, in total, 1,349 pages. Next is May. I ended up reading five books. And I had a couple new genres, which was thriller and dark romance. First book was Don't Go Down There, which was the first thriller. I didn't appreciate that there were no characters to root for. The twist was gross and unoriginal. Next, I read Fake Out. I thought it was a mediocre read. It wasn't the worst book ever, but I didn't like it. The first dark romance was The Maddest Obsession. I didn't appreciate the way he treated her. Some aspects were good, though. Next up was The Predator and the Reaper, which is book one and two of the Dark Verse series. I really enjoyed book one. I liked Morana's intellect and autonomy. Book two was boring and irritated me. And overall, I ended up reading 1,564 pages. Next is June, and I did hit a new record with 13 books. And my stats, format, ebook, audio and audio ebook, series and standalone, category, adult, nonfiction and new adult, genre, memoir, Romance and Dark Romance. And my interest in the books, meh, liked, neutral, kinda liked, hated, and disliked. And overall, I ended up reading 
3,496 pages. I ended up reading the Mindfuck series, Ghosted, Yes Please, Contractually Yours, 69 Million Things I Hate About You, Liars Like Us, Getting Lucky Number 7, Corrupt, and One Last First Date. Next up is July. The first book was Twisted Love, A Cruel Arrangement, Deceitful Vows, Deceitful Lies, Deceitful Bond, which was the Baranoff Bratva trilogy, Jane Doe, and The Devil Wears Black. In my stats, overall I ended up reading 2,404 pages, and my reflection for the month not as many or as good as June, but I still read plenty. I think I'll take a break from reading in August. At least I'll change formats. And here I have the start of August, and I will be doing August separately, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And for the books in July, June, as well as August, I will be having a summer reads reading wrap up, so stay on the lookout for that coming very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, and if you liked this video and would like to see more bookish content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time!